With this video, I'm going to show you how to create a palette to use in your design for Week 1 Assignment 4. Now, the design uh, restrictions include uh, a monochromatic color palette that uses high key variety of saturations and tints and a low key variety of saturations and shades in each design respectively. So we'll create a palette for the first part first and then a palette for the second part. But the first thing you need to do is to decide on which color you want to use. And because we're doing a design that's either all high key or all low key, you're going to want to choose a hue that is um, mid-tone, something that you can um, create a good high key range with and a good low key range with. So you need something around the mid-tone mid range. Now, as you know, I like using the color guide to find um, the gray value of a hue. So that's what I'm going to keep my eye on as I'm doing this. I'm just going to keep my eye on this top, le top left gray palette, a uh, gray swatch. Now, using my um, shape tool, I'm just going to start creating a palette. And I'll use, just draw a swatch to start with. And then I'm going to go to my HSB palette. This is the one that I prefer to use when I'm doing design work. And to access it, you just click on the arrow here and select HSB. And I'm going to take my saturation all the way up and take my brightness all the way up. And that will make my hues apparent here. And as I'm scrolling through the hues in my HSB palette, you'll see that the gray in the top left corner of my color guide palette is going to change in value as I go through the blues that gray gets darker as I come up into the reds it gets more mid-tone and then over here as I'm going through the yellows it's very light so you want to choose a color that has a fairly mid-tone value there and so we could be looking at, at something in the greens we'll give you that in the blue greens the blue pure blues are fairly dark as you can see and the violets are fairly dark but um, the pinks and the reds um, can be mid-tones as well as the reds to red-orange around there. So maybe I'll go with this red-orangey hue here, which has a nice mid-tone. Okay, then I need to create my high-key palette. Um, and to do that, I'm going to use the Blend tool. And so I'm going to duplicate the rectangle I have down here and I'll make this last swatch white. You won't see it. And then I'm going to select both swatches and go Object, Blend, Blend Options. And with specified steps selected, I'm going to choose 10 swatches then. Click OK, Object, Blend and Make. All right, so this is my first palette, which is going from the pure hue to white. Now I'm going to simply duplicate that palette, so I'm just copying and pasting it or I'm keeping the option key down as I'm clicking and dragging. And this time I'm going to use my direct select tool, so instead of making the blend all over again, I'm just going to change the second blend. And I'm going to click on the last patch there, and I want that to go to a... Um, A mid gray so I'm going I want that to go to the gray value of this color here so what I'm actually going to need to do is to find out what that gray value is and here it is and then I'm going to make click on this one and the whole scale will change so I'll just go through that again I'm going to undo what I did so I click on the color that I want the gray value of and I make sure that it's selected in the color guide then I click on the patch that I want to change and you'll see that the original hue is still selected here. So I can just click on that gray and there it is. That's my gray scale. Now I can also create a palette of high key saturation. So that means duplicating the scale one more time. And instead of using a gray of the same value, I'm going to use a gray of a lighter value. So I'm just going to click on this last swatch again with my direct select tool, which is the white arrow and I'm going to use a lighter gray. So in fact now I'm just going to go to the grayscale 
and make this gray lighter. Okay, and that's perfect. And now this is my entire palette for the first design. Then I'm going to go ahead and simply reduce the, uh, sorry, re reproduce the entire palette. So with my select tool, I'm going to select three blends there. My option tool clicked, I'm re reproducing what I've done already. And now I'm just going to change those blends for the second design so that they're all low key, which means I need this first one, which is a scale of tints, needs to be a scale of shades. So going to black. This one can stay the same because um, that's mid saturation. Um, but this one down here, we're going to make that a darker gray, but not black. Okay, and that's my scale for the, that's my palette, sorry, for the second design. All right, so um, that's all I have on creating palettes for the week one assignment four.